a sport headphone under 10,000 forints with serious extras. Obviously, I had to try it out. Hey everyone. So the situation is I haven't made a headphone test in a long time. And now, since I need a sport headphone, I thought I'd buy one for myself and make a test of it right away. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. I chose the Blitz Wolf V9, which is an open air headphone, a sports headphone, costing under 10,000 forints. And according to the specs, it has incredibly strong capabilities. Let me say it again, under 10,000 forints. So, I immediately got curious about it because I thought if it can do even half of what is promised, I'll be happy. This video will reveal whether it can do at least half, but before I get into that, we'll unbox it, check out how it looks from the outside, and I'll roughly go over the specifications, and then at the end, I'll share my experiences. So let's unbox it. I really like the box. It has a drawer-like solution, the box, which looks really nice. We pull out the device, on top we find the headphones, I'll set that aside, and below we find a box labeled accessories, which suggests multiple items. But there's only one relatively poor quality USB Type-C cable inside. By poor quality, I mean that it'll be fine for charging. No problem there, but for data transfer I don't think so. But it's not meant for that, it's meant for charging, and we won't need it for anything else. Besides, we already have plenty of USB-C cables at home, like fish in the sea. I couldn't think of a better metaphor. Okay, let's set the box aside and move on to the headphones. The headphones, which are docked naturally like all similar solutions, will take off the cover, just like that. The dock looks very stylish. I really like it. Matte black. Elegant, a bit rounded. Soap this shape, as usual. I think it's good. What I like less is this chrome edge that surrounds it. For me, it's a bit too Chinese, too flashy, and trying too hard to look exclusive. But after all, it is just a 10,000 forints headphone. It shouldn't need to be that exclusive. Still, it's not ugly. We find one connector on it. There is a USB Type-C connector at the back. Nothing else, no buttons, just a small indicator LED at the front, which is not lit now, but if I open it, it lights up. This indicates that it's charging, being charged, turned on, and so on. The first really good thing when we open it, it looks really cool with the headphones coiled in here, with the two ear hooks like this, shaped slightly like a heart, very high quality, looks really good. The materials seem great at first glance, and hopefully wearing them will be just as nice. The earphones have a magnetic holder, which means that they won't fall out accidentally, you won't lose them, and when you put the earphones back into place, they snap back into the charging connectors and start charging as they should. When we take out the device, we can see why this is an open air headphone. Mm. It doesn't fit into the ear. It's not an in-ear design, but something you can't insert fully. You place it on the ear, and this supposedly titanium ear clip keeps it secure to our ear. The manufacturer says that all the silicone found on the earphones is medical grade, very comfortable, very soft, and it won't irritate our ears. So, let's just say you won't get sores and your skin won't get damaged because we are talking about medical grade silicone. The exterior looks like this. The battery is likely inside this small rear cylinder and the other parts are here. E on the part that fits into the air. At the bottom, of course, are the charging connectors. What's interesting about this is that the sound comes out of the earphones from three places, bottom, top, and towards our ear. Let's jump straight into the specifications, because 
two things can't really be separated. Uh, these three emitters are here because the manufacturer says they use a procedure called direction tone for these earphones, which briefly means that the sound will always reach the right spot in the ear canal, so we won't disturb those around us. This is obviously important for an open-air device since it doesn't fit into the ear canal, so sound could leak out, which could be disturbing. This is one of the key features of these earphones and one of the reasons they are worth buying. Another very, very good feature, which sounds really good, is special audio. This means a three-dimensional sound experience. In these headphones, Spatial sound is usually achieved by the manufacturer, including a gyroscope in the device. Thanks to the gyroscopes, when you turn your head and the headphones turn with it, the soundstage doesn't rotate with you. So, as you move your head, the soundstage will always stay centered, regardless of your head's position. The great thing about gyroscopic technology is that it's smart. For example, if you're walking down the street and turn a corner, it won't interpret that as simply turning your head. Instead, it understands that you've turned the corner and moves the soundstage accordingly. But if you just move your head, the soundstage doesn't move. This creates a very strong spatial effect, because as you turn your head, the soundstage doesn't follow you. You won't always hear the same stereo sound. Sometimes the sound will be stronger in your right ear, and other times in your left. It's amazing. I really love this feature. I have another in-ear headphone that can do this, and it works really well. The manufacturer says that this three-dimensional sound helps to place sounds in space. So, if we're listening to music or watching a movie where spatial effects are important, we won't just get ordinary stereo, but we'll hear sounds placed virtually around us. Obviously, we're talking about virtual speakers. The third key feature is noise cancellation. The manufacturer claims this headphone has intelligent noise cancellation. What exactly they mean by this, I don't know. Typically, noise cancellation works by filtering out environmental sounds, not speech. So if you want to make a call or have a conversation, the headphones can allow important sounds like speech and music through, but block external noise. That's how noise cancellation works in this context. It's a really great feature. Battery life is also essential and definitely part of the specs. We have an 8-hour battery life when using the headphones alone, meaning the built-in battery can keep us entertained with music for 8 entire hours. If we put them back in the charging case, we get up to 28 hours of playback, which is quite impressive since the headphones can play music for over a day without needing an external charger. This is another great feature, especially if you exercise for several hours, like going on a long bicycle ride around Lake Balaton. It's beneficial if your headphones can work all day. There is one more thing the manufacturer definitely highlights. Large headphones. Given the size of these headphones, they are undoubtedly large. Magnetically levitated membrane, which ensures that we will get very good and very dynamic lows. And they say that this magnetically levitated membrane greatly contributes to the special audio, meaning the surround sound, I will also tell you how successful it is. And finally, one more thing, of course, it has water resistance since it's a sports earbud, but you can't swim with it, though, for example, you can run in it. It can handle light rain. It has an IP54 rating for water and dust resistance, meaning it can withstand splashing water, so it will definitely handle sweat. We will be protected. So much for the specifications. Let me say again. It looks really good. I really like it. And now, as we get to the experiences, I have to say, it's insanely comfortable. What I was really worried about with this earbud was that it would be uncomfortable with glasses, which is important, not just for wearing glasses, but also for cycling, because I wear glasses for cycling as well. It's really good, comfortable, 
and fits in the ear very easily. It stays in firmly, it doesn't want to fall out. It provides a really good stable fit. I've already tried it while exercising. It's absolutely great and really comfortable. It's so light that you forget it's even in your ear while wearing it. It doesn't press on your ear and it has almost no weight. So in this regard, this earbud is absolutely top-notch. However, there are some features that I think either don't work or work completely unnecessarily. Let me tell you what they are. The direction tone, in my opinion, works well and is useful. This is the method that directs the sound from the earbud in the ear canal, I asked a friend. And they said that it's really good and completely blocks out sound, even though it's not in the ear canal, so theoretically the sound could leak out. But it doesn't, or at least it's so minimal that it won't bother anyone. So far so good. But then there's this special audio, which is supposed to be surround sound, and to be honest, I don't experience any surround sound with these earbuds, neither when turning my head, nor when listening to music or watching movies. So for me, the surround sound somehow doesn't work. Maybe it's a problem with my ears. I'm not saying it's not. But let's just say I expected a bit more in terms of surround sound. Well, this didn't impress me much. Before I forget, there's one more thing I forgot to mention, and that's calls, because after all, you know... Well, since this is also a headset for making calls, of course there's a microphone included, and it works perfectly fine. The noise cancellation on the microphone works relatively well, which means I tried making a call while cycling, where you have wind noise. This wind noise basically disappeared completely. I'm not saying it was absolutely zero, at least my conversation partner would have said that, that they could still hear that I wasn't in a room. But the speech was clear and understandable, so no issues there and the speech wasn't filtered out, which is another good point. Finally, there's just one last thing left. Um, thank you for watching. And with this, uh, in my opinion, nobody can complain. The sound quality of the Blitzwolf V9, while not hi-fi or 100% perfect, is exceptionally good for its 10,000 foreign price. It has bass, it has treble, the mids are clear. So there's absolutely no problem with speech or vocal sounds. I tried all kinds of music genres, from classical to techno, through rock. So I tested everything I could. Nothing in it stands out remarkably, yeah. but it's good in everything. This basically means that it's not an endlessly specialized, refined, optimized headset, but a general purpose earpiece. However, among general use headsets, in my opinion, it's definitely among the better ones, as it can serve all types of music genres in an acceptable or slightly better quality. But I really don't need anything more than this, since the only goal of these earphones is to be able to have them in my ear while cycling, so that if someone calls me, I can talk to them without taking out the earphones. Look at the phone. And I can listen to music on it, and most importantly, I don't get hit by a bus. Now the Blitzwolf V9 meets all these conditions perfectly and is just ideal. Well, that's about it. I've talked a lot already, maybe even too much. I wrote an article about the earphones, where you can find all the details and my experiences, as I just told you. So if you prefer reading or need more information, you'll find a link to the written article below the video on YouTube. Check it out. If you're looking for a good pair of open ear headphones that are cheap, very usable, and meet all the functions, then after using them for a while, I can confidently recommend the Blitzwolf V9 to you. They worked great for me. I mean, that's it for this video. Take care. Look after yourselves, and I will be back soon with another review. See you!